A crying newborn is extremely distressing and it becomes even more stressful for us as parents if we cannot soothe them. Now all babies do go through a period of fussiness at two weeks of age and this generally peaks at around six to eight weeks of age and resolves by three to four months of age. But during this time, they are extremely difficult to soothe and that can often make us feel like we are failing as parents because we should be able to soothe our little one. So in this video, I'm going to share with you four different carrying techniques that you can do with your baby, which is definitely going to help soothe them and reduce those cries. But before we cover what those carrying techniques are, make sure you click on the free PDF document in the description box below to get the free developmental checklist for your baby's first year of life. If your little one is still crying and you've made sure that they are not hungry, tired, uncomfortable or sick, you can try out one of these four positions or all four positions and see which one helps to soothe your little ones. The very first position you want to try is called the flex and hold position. Now this is when your little one is in your arms and they're facing out and what you do is you use one hand to support their legs so that they're flexed towards their body and the other hand to support their hands so that those hands are either close to or in their mouth and when you are supporting them in this position you move up and down in a vertical motion and you also start to shh 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 with your little one. Now what this position does is it mimics the womb. So we are containing our little ones and keeping their limbs nice and close to their body. We are also ensuring that they can actually suck on their hands and sucking on their hands is extremely calming for babies because it releases a whole lot of hormones in their brain which helps to soothe. We also know that white noise or that shh, shh, shushing noise is actually calming for babies as well because it is similar to the sounds that they heard when they were in the womb. So when they're in the womb, they would have heard lots of different noises, including the blood rushing around the placenta, and it is as loud as a vacuum cleaner. So they do find noise, and particularly white noise, extremely calming. We also know that babies like movement. In fact, this was proven in a study which was completed in 2013, where they monitored babies who were under six months of age. And what they were monitoring is their heart rate, their movements, and the intensity of their crying. And they looked at what happened when the upset baby was placed in the crib, when they were held by their mother when she was sitting, and when they were held by their mother when she was walking around. What they found is that when a baby was distressed and the mum was walking around, their voluntary movements as well as their crying decreased as well as their rapid heart rate. And this was more significant when the mum was walking around compared to when the mum was just sitting still. So this shows that babies do prefer movement and it is more calming. The second soothing position you might want to try out with your little one is the method that was developed by Dr. Harvey Karp, which is the five S's. So this is when you firstly swaddle your baby. So you help to mimic that wound by containing them. Then you place them onto their side or stomach position. Then you add in a little bit of swaying. So we add in that movement, which we know babies find calming and the shushing, which we know mimics the sounds that they heard in the womb. And when you're doing the shushing, it's important to kind of match the level that your baby is crying as well so that they can actually hear it. And then lastly, you add something that they can suck. So that might be a pacifier or it might be giving them your finger, so a clean finger for them to suck and that will help soothe them and stop those tears. The third position newborns tend to really enjoy and find calming is when they are inside a baby carrier or a baby wrap. Now, when you are placing them in this, what you wanna do is make sure that you are moving around when you're using it. So that might be walking around the room or moving up and down in a vertical motion. You don't wanna stay in still because babies do prefer movement. The other thing you wanna do is give your baby something to suck. So that might mean that you can position their hand so it's close to their mouth and they can independently suck it. When they're inside the baby carrier, it might be giving them a pacifier or a dummy, or it might be giving them your clean finger to suck on. And the other thing you wanna add in if they're still distressed is that shh noise or that white noise machine. The football hold is also another position you can try out with your unsettled baby. Now, of course, when your little one is in this position, you wanna add in that movement. Don't stay still because we know movement is calming for a little one. You also wanna give them a dummy or something to suck if they're still unsettled. And you also want to bring in that white noise. So you either do the shushing really close to their ear, remembering to match 
the level of their cry or you add some white noise to their environment. Now, if your little one is going through that unsettled period that typically happens in the afternoons or evenings, which is often referred to the period of purple crying, then you might wanna check out this video where I go through other techniques that you can use in your day to try and get through this trying time. Make sure you click on that free PDF document in the description box below, and I will see you next week where I'll share more parenting tips and tricks.